Today in the Anthony Kitchen, I'm gonna show you how to make the absolute easiest baked brie. There's no need to worry about puff pastry or rolling out dough, you don't need it. All you need is brie, jam, nuts, a little honey, and a teensy bit of salt. The first thing we're gonna start with is brie. And what I do to prep my brie is just pop it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. This makes it really easy to get some of that rind off. Now the rind for brie is completely edible and this is an extra step and you don't have to do it. However, I think that when you're serving food for guests, that it's really important that that food is easy for your guests to eat. So in order for them to not struggle to get the bite of brie they're wanting, I'm gonna go ahead and just shave off the top. Now what I'm doing is I'm just popping this into my little baker. You don't have to have a special brie baker to make baked brie. I'm actually just using a miniature pie dish and any small shallow baking dish will do the trick just fine. The next ingredient going into the dish is going to be some jam. I'm using apricot jam, but you can really use any jam you like. Strawberry, raspberry. If you're hosting for a fall party, an apple butter or a cinnamon pear jam would be absolutely delicious on baked brie. The next ingredient going on the brie is going to be some chopped almonds. Just sprinkle your almonds right over the top. Next, we're gonna give it just a little drizzle of honey. And last, we've got a lot of sweet going on in here, so we're gonna balance that out with just a little pinch of salt. We're gonna pop it in a 400 degree oven for right about 15 minutes, just until it's hot and bubbly. Then we'll pull it out, and I'm gonna show you how to plate it on a gorgeous party platter. So it's really best if you can serve the baked brie actually warm, but if you put a hot baked brie down on a cool plate, you are running the risk of cracking your plate. So what I like to do is just fold up a little napkin and pop it right in the center. We've talked about this before on this channel. Whenever you are building a platter, you want to start with the weightiest items first. So the baked brie is down and now I'm just going to add in some strawberries on the sides. We'll pop some over here on the other side to sort of balance out that color. Now we're just doing a few layers of some water crackers. You could also do a sliced baguette if you'd like. Just kind of bundle these up off to the side. Now we're gonna add in some blackberries. And a lot of times you think you need a bigger platter than you do, but if you really want it to be a feast for the eyes, you wanna go with a smaller platter. Now we have just some extra little goodies. These are some dried apricots and I'm really just gonna sandwich what's left and any empty little spaces and they'll just be some yummy little nibbles that people can pick up here and there. I've got some yogurt covered raisins. If you don't like raisins, a few nibbles of white chocolate would be really delicious. And I'm actually just gonna pop these on top of the fruit they're kind of breaking up the color of those blackberries and the strawberries there and these little crevices over here. And last but not least, we have some honey roasted almonds and we're just building up the platter. There's lots of good height and depth going on. Candied pecans would also be an amazing addition here. And I think that's good. You'll wanna have either a little spoon or a cheese spreader for serving and that's all there is to it. So if you enjoyed this little tutorial, pretty please give this video a thumbs up. As always, I'll link to the recipe in the description below. While you're down there, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe so you stay up to date on all of the Anthony Kitchen's new YouTube videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. There is no reason to worry about rolling out. Well, <laughs> there'll be a lot of those. Just sprinkle. Now the rind for brie is completely, okay, let's try that again. The next ingredient, the next thing going into the, <laughs> the next ingredient,